Good morning. I'm Gwen Hall, the author of Men Only Kiss My Palate. And this is Jerry Gruber. He's going to assist me today. Um, our class is for men who want to learn how to cook, probably men who spend a lot of time doing other things but decided the focus should be uh, learning how to entertain graciously and deliciously in their own home. And don't forget seductively. And the seductively. The benefits of seductive cooking. Uh, through the years, there has been a great deal of lore about aphrodisiacs, and I'll share some of that. Potatoes in the dining room, frolic in the, li in the bedroom. Women used to take pulverized basil and put it on their breasts if they thought their husbands were straying. Onions are an aphrodisiac. In the um, fifth century, men ate three helpings of asparagus uh, before they got married because they thought it gave them uh, sexual powers. That has been replaced by champagne by the French men. Avocados have a lot of uh, vitamins and minerals in it, and they're also a high source of energy, therefore considered an aphrodisiac. So it might have been um, the guacamole when you went out for margaritas that turned on your date. Tomatoes used to be illegal because they were thought there to be such a strong aphrodisiac. Cocoa, uh, the Aztecs drank 50 cups of it to help them um, with several of their 500 or 600 concubines. Mushrooms are an aphrodisiac. Shallots, honey, men used to drink gallons of honey before they got married and um, we don't know what it did for them, but it, it is a reason for the term honeymoon and we even know that Attila the Hun d did that on his um, the night he got married and he expired that night we don't know if it was due to the um, to the honey but it's a good possibility the great part of the story is that his wife was so fearful to to um, tell anyone that she stayed in there with him for a couple of days. The last one I have in the, in the visual is black beans. St. Jerome would feed the hungry and the poor black beans, but he wouldn't let his nuns eat black beans because it thought it caused genital titillation. We're going to prepare a very easy uh, summertime dinner. Again, um, we believe, Jerry and I believe, that the way to a woman's heart is through her stomach, just like our mothers always taught us when we were growing up. And do aphrodisiacs really work? We do know that men and women are more susceptible to lovemaking, the ecstasy of lovemaking, after a good meal than at any other time. The appetizer we're going to make, we just, I just bought pita bread, and I'm going to cut it into triangles. And we're going to make our own um, chips for the avocado mousse that I'm also going to make next. I'm just going to take, take the chips. Put a little olive oil on, on them. A little salt. Little salt. Get them good and coated with the oil so that they have a wonderful flavor. I would recommend sea salt, but any type of salt would do. These can be, these are things you do ahead. You don't wait until your date arrives to do all these things, because number one, you don't want a messy kitchen and you want to be able to focus on her and have great conversation. And it's also kind of a guy thing. Well, it's a, it's a thing for all of us, um, timelines. You want to keep it very simple, maybe just a little bit more salt. Um, but anything and everything that you can do ahead will make your evening just go that much, much better. There is an old line. You don't want to come to the end of the evening and the date says, I've had a great evening but this wasn't it. The next thing I'm going to make is avocado mousse. I just took two avocados, smashed them up, just squeeze in some lemon juice, catch the seeds in your hand. The lemon juice not only gives it flavor, 
but it keeps the avocado from turning dark. So if you, do, you don't want to make it too far ahead because of the potential of it looking brown. Brown, very brown and not very appetizing. Some blue cheese or Roquefort. I happen to have blue cheese today. Just mix that in. A little salt again. A little heavy cream. Okay, this is the fun part of cooking. We have to do a little tasting. Let's see what you think it needs. Okay. We have more blue cheese, we have more everything. No more lemon. Mm, I think it's fine. Okay. You want to grab the pink bowl there. Oh, I would love to. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is prepare salmon. And um, the easy way to do it, first of all, you wash it and pat it dry with paper towels because you want the salmon to absorb the flavor. A little bit of olive oil, again, some lemon juice. You want the other two pieces? They're in the, they're in the refrigerator. A little bit of white wine some mustard, dry mustard, and some capers. These need to be marinated for 30 minutes. So before you all arrived, I put these, the others, and we're ready, they're ready to go in the oven. Ready I'm gonna to add go. just a little bit of Lemon and orange zest. That's a, that's a, what was the word yesterday? In addition, it's not necessary to your basic recipe. But we'll marinate this and go ahead and put that in the oven, 350 for about, about 10 minutes. Any of these things, you, when you add or, or take away things, they are called enhancements. And enhancements, Take a basic recipe and add a little bit to it, and a lot of times it, it changes it enough where um, you discover something new and it's wonderful. So don't be afraid to experiment a little bit, and never be afraid to add something you really like to a dish, because it can really improve it. Okay, the next thing we're gonna make is a summer corn relish. I cooked the corn on the cob before, cut it off and had it ready. This is easy to uh, assemble. And this is something that you could make before she arrives. Tomatoes, two tomatoes, three tablespoons of... Chopped red onion. Chopped red onions, about three tablespoons of cilantro. If you don't have cilantro, parsley will work. And um, avocados. Earlier I sprayed, put a little... Um, lemon juice on them again just to keep them from turning dark oops didn't take follow my own lesson here again nobody wants a a lemon seed a little bit of olive oil the salt is I'll be the official salter okay you salt I'm gonna find a spoon Oh, you got, okay, let me pepper? have that one. Okay. I'll be the pepper or two. Okay. I think that's 